Today's episode covers relatively old Australian pennies from Koina's collection, presenting you them one by one in chronological order. Quick reminder, if you first time on our channel, make sure to hit subscribe and notification buttons down below to get everyday high definition coin videos. Here is 1941 George VI Australian penny. First minted bronze coin with weight of 9.45 grams. Diameter is 30.8 millimeters. Oversight highlights left profile of King George VI and legends around in Latin. Coin is at very fine condition, featuring bold stripe. Letterings display no wear at higher points. While on George's profile we see some softness on the hair part. Tiny bits of luster can be seen on selected areas of predominantly faded surfaces. Lower legends display dark grey-green smatters around G, E and O. On the back of the head, one deep scratch catches the eye. On the back side of a coin, name of the country above, national animal kangaroo in the center, date of minting below to the right, commonwealth star to the left, and the face value below. Here we see insignificant amount of wear on kangaroo's head. Little below, the numeral one of the date exhibits smudgy surfaces, looks like result of faulty dye. Oxidation caused very interesting and good looking rosewood pink hues around the device. First minted pennies of that year are more expensive than other mints. According to NGC price guide that circulated grades, price for those varieties ranged between $2.5 to $75. Even at lowest mint state, that is MS60, coin is worth at least $275. Next come 1952 Australian penny, an error coin which is at least one grade higher than previous one. But in terms of eye appeal, here we see more faded surfaces, particularly towards the rims. Weight, diameter and content of metal the same. Reverse side displays sharply detailed design elements. Kangaroo's face displays no softness. As on previous one, near kangaroo head, strong oxide layer shows up between 9 to 10 o'clock. As I mentioned before, it bears a mint error. Under magnification, we see doubling on lower rims, which is a result of color dye clash. Here is another 1952 Australian penny, regular strike coin with sharply struck device elements and legends. It very much looks like a cleaned coin with extremely fine details. Pay attention to the diagonal lines showing up while tilting the coin. Looks like somebody tried to clean the tarnish hard way. Surfaces of reverse are nicely preserved and show sharply struck design motifs. This side of a coin is likely cleaned as well. According to NGC price guide, the price of circulated pennies of that year ranged between $0.25 cents to $8, depending on preservation condition. At mid day 65 they are worth $25. Moving on to our last coin, 1964 Australian penny featuring young Elizabeth II on a verse. First mint bronze coin with content of 97% copper, 2.5% zinc and 0.5% tin. Weight is 5.67 grams, diameter 25.5 millimeters. These pennies at very fine condition, letterings are crisp, strike of device is not that sharp. 
on Elizabeth's facial part, on the neck and around the ear we see medium amount of softness. On the top of her head there is a black tone slanting stain of unknown origin. As you can see under close inspection upper western rims display trace of colored eye clash, a railroad rim. On the reverse, lettering and device elements display smudgy shapes, most likely reverse tie that struck this coin was filled with grease. Significant wear is evident on initials of KG. Nevertheless, it is readable. According to NGC price guide, price of circulating 1964 pennies ranges between 20 cents to $2.50. At mid-day 65 they are worth at least eight dollars but price of error coins vary depending on variety of mint error and its rarity level that's all for now if you like the video show some support by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe have a good one